Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to do multiple video track editing in Sony Vegas Movie Studio in Sony Vegas. It's pretty easy to do once you know the secret. Now, on my timeline here, I have three different video tracks, and I can have up to four in Sony Vegas Movie Studio and an unlimited number in Sony Vegas. And what I want to do is I want to start with this video track, and then about uh, 30 or seconds in it, I want to go down to this video track and then come back up to this one and then maybe go back down to this one. And I want to do it easily. I'm going to show you how to do that. As with most things in Vegas, it's pretty easy to do if you know the secret. First thing we do is we go to the top video track, move right over in this area and right click, and then select Insert Remove Envelope, and we're going to add a composite level envelope. We're going to do that on the next track as well. We're going to add that composite level envelope, and we're going to do it on the other track. Now, the composite level envelope adds a little purple line right here at the top. And if I want to fade this track, all I have to do is double click it, one point there, and another point there, and then just drag it down. And if you notice my window down here, when I play this, it's going to jump from this clip to that clip just because the composite level is dropped. You see it drop down? It dropped right down. And if I want to bring it back up, all I have to do is put two points there and bring it straight up. And what that does, the net effect, is it drags across, drops, and then comes back up. Now, if I want to drop down to this third clip, all I want to do is first drop the composite level on my second clip so that it's invisible. And then when I want to go to the third clip, put two points there, drop that down, and you'll see that it drops immediately down to that third clip. So that's how easy it is. And you can use this composite level to adjust how fast it drops. So if you have a straight line, it's going to drop, it's going to drop immediately. Watch this. Boom, it goes straight to it. But if you drag this line over, it actually does a fade rather than a, a drop. That's why you have to put two points. If you only put one point, it's going to do a long, long fade. Now to bring it back up, again, you put two points side by side on the composite level line and then you just bring it up to the level you want. So that's how you do it. You can put composite levels on all three of your tracks and adjust the composite level so that you can do quick fades from track to track. Again, I'll scan through this quickly. Watch it change. It goes back up. It's going to change to the bottom track, and then it's going to come back up to the top track. Easy to do. We did it all using composite levels on our video tracks. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit my website at www.bmyers.com or checking some of the DVDs that I have on the market. Again, thanks for watching.